lovelies, it's Breezy Girl here, back with another video. Today, I'm super excited. I'm going to be talking to you about how I deep condition my hair with the favorite products that I use and the final end result. If you wanna know how I deep conditioned, please stay tuned. So I just finished washing my hair and uh, there's no product in here at the moment. It's nice and clean. Uh, and then before I even start my deep conditioning treatment, what I'll do is I have to clarify it first. So I use the Apple Cider Vinegar Real Raw Shampoo. -y. It's a mouthful. Uh, but this stuff I have been using uh, for a little bit. It's like my third bottle. Uh, it has no sulfate. It's paraben free. It has plant proteins. Uh, mineral oil free and synthetic dye free and it doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar it really just smells like apples it smells really amazing and if you actually just look there's no color in there uh, and it's a pretty thick consistency um, what I do is I'll just lather it up all over my hair and especially in my scalp and I'll just do some massages for about a good two three minutes just to make sure that you know I'm circulating all the blood in my scalp and then um, wash it off and then I'll use a little bit of my favorite conditioner because uh, I just want to make sure that the hair is smooth uh, when I get out of the shower before I even put in the treatment so um, stay tuned Okay, so next step is the deep conditioning treatment. And I am currently obsessed with the Maui Moisture uh, line right now. Uh, so I've been using this deep mask uh, for a couple months and uh, you can find this at any local store as well. And this also has no silicones, no parabens, uh, no SLS, no synthetic dye. It's vegan, eco-friendly. It has pure coconut water in it and has pure aloe in it. And you can see um, all of that on the label. And I use it once a week when I deep condition. You can tell that I'm obsessed with this because I am almost out. Uh, and how I use this product is I layer my hair and I section it and um, I curl train. And I'll show you what I mean when I curl train. And then on top of that, I will use a, um, a disposable shower cap uh, all over. I put it on my head because it pretty much what it does is it helps um, keep the natural heat from your scalp. And it pretty much is like a deep conditioning treatment, natural deep conditioning treatment uh, that you can do at home. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll show you what I mean.
so it's starting to get dark again um so i had to put on some light but i already have all the um deep conditioning treatment into my hair and now the next thing i'll do is i'll um curl train and you can actually kind of see if you twist your head a little bit shake your head a little bit you can see like the curls where they form and I'll just, and this doesn't have to be sectioned. This doesn't have to be perfect, but I'll take a little bit, right? And I'll put a little bit more of the um, deep conditioning and I will split it in half and then just twist. You wanna follow the way your curl pattern goes naturally. Um, if you don't, that's okay. So just like that and then same thing take section and again this doesn't have to be perfect but you want to put a little bit more of the deep conditioning in there because you're going to leave this on for a good 25 minutes if you don't have enough time you can do it for 15 as well it doesn't matter just as long as you do it at least once a week so as you can see, same thing, just curl train, twist, doesn't have to be perfect. And then when I get to the end, because you know my hair is not even, I'll just twist it just like that. Okay. And you're just going to do this throughout your whole head. I just rinsed out all that deep conditioning treatment out uh, this is what it looks like without any product I haven't brushed it I just removed it I left it uh, I left the product on for like about 20 minutes and then rinsed it out and this is what it looks like so you see why the curl trading did not have to be perfect because you're gonna rinse it out anyway uh, I just removed the excess water after I rinsed it with a microfiber towel and I just scrunched it gently and uh, did not brush it I don't need to brush it anymore because I've already brushed it and uh, this is what it looks like I'll put on my um, favorite products and then diffuse and then you'll see the final results so stay tuned
Okay guys, so this is what my hair looks like after the deep conditioning and product and diffuse. Uh, I am very happy with the end results. As you can see, curls are back intact and they're soft again and I love it. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon. Take care.